Capricorn, what's up? This is Soul. And Capricorn, this is your uh, July 2nd to the end of July uh, messages. Uh, it is for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, Capricorn Rising Signs as well. All right, my fellow Capricorns, I hope all is well. Um, using the Elora Tarot to deliver your messages and also to compliment your uh, messages. I am using the Wisdom of Golden Path uh, Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno. Salerno. Okay. All right. So let's get right into these messages here for you, Capricorn. This is going to be similar to the general love readings that I do for you. I'm going to be selecting 10 cards, 10 cards to give you more information. And because I am taking that whole month of July off. So, um, Happy 4th, Independence Day for those who celebrate it. Please be safe. All right, so let's see what the energies are for Capricorn. Beginning July 2nd and ending July 31st. Capricorn messages, spirit. Capricorn. Shadow card energy may be energy that plays out, Capricorn. Um, and I always say please pay attention if it is a, a major arcana. Because it will carry out or it will play out. Okay, so let's see. These cards are large. I think it's the only second time that I've used this deck. Um, <clears throat> but let's see what the energies are for Capricorn. All right, let's begin. God forbid we have any technical issues. One, two, three, four. Okay, Capricorn, a shadow card energy for you uh, is related to, okay, it's a major arcana. It's the hermit. And you know what? This is Virgo. So this is part of your energy. So we have the hermit here. So it may be that uh, during this uh, time frame, uh, for some Capricorns, you might be doing some deep soul searching, doing some introspection, um, evaluating something that's close up and personal to you. It could be almost anything, a relationship, a job, your family, anything that this hermit relates to. The major arcana, the hermit is in the upright uh, position, representing Virgo and part of your energies and Taurus as well. Okay, so we're starting off with the major arcana, the hermit card. So let's see what the uh, other energies reveal. Okay, so your overall energy, uh, Capricorn for this time frame, July 2nd to the 31st, is related to the energy of your energy again, two of pentacles, okay? <laughs> balancing, juggling two things, two situations, could be two jobs, could be just simply balancing your checkbook, okay? So it's minor, so it's a minor juggling act or balancing act, but whatever that two of pentacles means for you in the upright position, Capricorn, this is what I feel. It may have a direct connection to the hermit and doing some introspection when it comes to your finances. You know, that's that's what I'm seeing. Uh, but whatever the messages are, you know, you have to relate it to your situation. OK, so two of Pentacles represents uh, your energy and that energy again of the other earth, uh, signs. Cap uh, yeah, I'm doing you Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo, male or female. So just a little bit of juggling going on. Trying to maintain a little bit of balance. Something uh, is a little imbalance there. And whatever that imbalance is for you, that's what's uh, coming forth. Okay, so crossing that two of pentacles there. Um, yeah, the two could represent two, two jobs, two relationships, two events, two situations, whatever. Uh, okay, a major arcana of the sun. So... All is well. The sun shines on Capricorn for this time period. All right. So we have two major arcanas already. Capricorn showing up for you for this spread. The sun in the upright is about joy, happiness, success. And it is also a relationship card. So isn't it uh, funny that it's crossing the two of pentacles? So maybe there's someone, even though it's not the two of swords, someone is juggling two relationships and you're not sure. Uh, you may be dating two people and you're trying to figure out which one is going to resonate, uh, you know, uh, 
with your energy in the long term. It could be almost it could be almost anything. So Capricorn, um, that's what I'm just throwing at you as an example. But that sun comes in here. It also is uh, for some of you who could be traveling or vacationing during this uh, July 2nd to July 31st. Because if you notice on this uh, card, there's a beach chair. If you see it in the background, the red beach chair. So someone could be and then there's water. So someone could be going to, um, you know, traveling on water. Could be going to a beach where there's water and sitting out where there are beach chairs. OK, so and, and like I said, when the sun showed up for another sign, I always instantly get um the states california and florida always come to mind when that sun shows up for i don't for i don't always talk about it but for whatever reason i always get this the florida and california energies okay but also the sun uh represents medical stuff for me too so but it's all good because the sun is a very positive card okay so don't get it twisted the sun, when I say medical stuff, it could be just routine, uh, you know, doctor's appointments, checkups and so forth. Uh, someone could be the sun. See the rays. That's even though it's radiating on you and um, smiling on you. The, the rays here could be uh, radiation for people who are going through chemo uh, radiation and um, yeah, chemotherapy, radiation treatments for cancer. Um, it could also mean uh exposure to other types of uh, x-rays or radiation in terms of x-rays you know cat scans mris ultrasounds you name it okay that's what this energy always gives me when uh, you know the sun shows up but th not to sweat the small stuff because the sun is still positive so it could be that all is going to be well because this is a card of even though i get the medical stuff it's a healthy well-being type of energy all right. So even if you go through those things, you know, you go through a doctor's appointment and then your doctor says, you know, everything is all looking good. Keep up what you're doing. Uh, you know, your blood test might come back and they're all within range. So forth. All right. So the sun shines and smiles on Capricorn from July 2nd. No matter what else comes up after that sun is smiling on you for that time frame. OK, so next up, Capricorn, we have. Yeah, victory and success. Okay. And, you know, the sun is part of uh, success, joy and happiness. So this is someone wanting to be uh, adventurous. All right. Making decision, making moves. Uh, this is the victory and success card. Okay. Ace of Swords, the start of some new adventure. Uh, for some of you, that could be, you know, um, related to traveling, could re be related to relationships. Uh, just doing something completely different and new. It could be, you know, something that you do by yourself, something that you do uh, with family, something that you do with a friend, something that you do with a partnership, romantic partnership. But someone wants to be a little bit more adventurous, seek out new adventures and do those things. And you're going to be successful if you decide, because this is a card of decision. So you will decide to do something more adventurous uh, with whomever, and then it's going to turn out to be okay. So Ace of Swords represents uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female energies. Next up after that, Ace of Swords. And, you know, of course, the Ace is always the start of something new. All right. So now we have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is in the reverse. Now, this Eight of Cups has shown up twice in uh, other readings, and now it's in the reverse position, but it was in the upright. So I don't know if I <laughs> screwed up uh, the shuffling or whatever, but that's it's OK because it's good for you because the Eight of Cups in the reverse means that there was uh, possibly or potentially some type of disappointment or emotional stuff that you were dealing with. This Eight of Cups comes in here to say you're, you're either getting over that disappointment or you're working through those emotions that whatever created the upset or emotional imbalance for you, things are starting to come back into uh, balance. OK, and that might be part of the energy of the two of Pentacles is uh, some type of energy, a little bit of energy being imbalanced there. So it might be the emotions and you're working on trying to get those emotions uh, back in order. And just to let you know that uh, showing you this card in the upright position here, I had mentioned that normally in other tarot decks, the female or whoever is the person that's, um, you know, depicted on the um 
eight of cups they're usually the back is to the cups this female here which actually she's a uh, she's a female um Wow, what the hell? I can't even think of it. <laughs> she got fins. Mermaid. She's a mermaid. Okay, a female mermaid. All right, so, but she's facing the cups. And so I had just brought up uh, to the attention of the ones who received this card that, you know, whatever it is that they're dealing with, they're willing to face their emotions. Okay, so now, uh, Capricorn, you may have dealt with those emotions and now you're ready to, um, you know, begin again or start fresh or you're getting over. Uh, some sort of emotional letdown or disappointment from the past. Cups represent children, relationships, uh, and it's not always about when the Eight of Cups shows up here of walking away. It's just, you know, dealing with a lot of emotional shit that you would rather not deal with, all right? <laughs> so, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male or female, energies in association with that Eight of Cups in the reverse position. Next up is the Major Arcana Strength. Now, I could never figure out why the and, you know, by the way, this Allura Tarot is each card was created by a different artist. This is not just one artist who has created this deck. This is like I think it was like a, a group of 80 people that were given an assignment and they were uh, specifically to design, um, you know, major arcana cards and minor arcana cards. And this person here, for whatever reason, and her name is Marilyn Coop. Okay, and the artists are, I just happened to notice that the artists are on the card. So this is Marilyn Coop, and she created this strength card, Major Arcana, but she put a skunk on there. So what does that mean? You still have the strength, no matter what, the strength represents encourage, uh, encouragement, being courageous, feeling all empowered, and it also has to do with endurance. The strength card, excuse me, strength card represents Leo, the lion and other fire sign energies, Aries and Sagittarius, male or female. So we're looking good so far with the hermit card as your uh, shadow card energy. And then we have the sun and then we have the strength card. So feeling courageous, feeling um, like a daredevil. I don't still don't understand why. Maybe this is not a skunk. Maybe it might be something else. I have to do some more research on this. But it looks like a skunk to me. All right. So strength card, Major Arcana, following that strength card, Capricorn. Now we have your energy, Six of Pentacles, card of generosity. All right. So it's underneath the two of Pentacles. So that means that if you're juggling and it's in your you know, relationship to your finances, then you get you. With the Six of Pentacles showing up right underneath that Two of Pentacles, there's some sort of balance that comes back. This is an even number of Pentacles, and this is what it means. Not only generosity, but also, too, I pick up with the Six of Pentacles in the past, at least. Uh, it could be in relationship to uh, receiving some sort of apology or um, I'm sorry for some sort of past transgression. Now, that might come in. For those who may have been dealing with the Eight of Cups energy that shows up here in the reverse position. Otherwise, this is, you know, you could be the receiver of some sort of generous, um, you know, offering from someone. Uh, and this could also relate to uh, money. In terms of, you know, pay raises, this also could represent a job, work, part time work. It could be part time work. Uh, also, too, because of the two of pentacles, trying to juggle two jobs. All right. To make more money. You can look at it that way. Uh, but it's a very favorable card. It's a card of um, stability, security. And also the pentacles always give me longevity. OK, so secure, st stable, grounded. steady all those things are in relationship to that six of pentacles all right so following the six of pentacles relating to your energy and the other earth energies taurus and virgo male or female oh we have the page of cups so this is the start of a job a birth of a child yeah start of a job birth of a child something new okay something that you want to begin 
Uh, the cups represent relationships. So it could be a friendship. This is a general reading overall. So it could be a new love. It could be a new friendship. It could be a birth of a job, yeah, a child, or it could be a start of a new job. But whatever it is, is something that brings on some happiness and emotional uh, satisfaction and contentment. Any positive cups that show up is all ways in relationship to emotional satisfaction, uh, happiness and uh, contentment. Now, with the eight of cups, that's the reverse dissatisfaction. You're not content and you're not happy. All right. So this is a court card. So that could indicate we have the relationship card here. Uh, the sun. So that could be a, a startup of a new relationship. And some endeavor now it could be romantic, platonic, it could be something going on with the family cups represent children for me always. All right. Following the page of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female energies. Now, Capricorn, we have the four of swords. So four of swords shows up here because it's normally the rest relaxation rejuvenation type of energy all right you need to take a break see the, the female she's laying and normally they, they show people laying across either a bed or some kind of slate or whatever uh taking a break taking a nap uh so it could be that following the page Someone could be taking a break from, you know, a baby. Someone could be taking a, wanting to take a break from a baby, wanting to take a break for a, a relationship. And remember, this is only temporary energy. This four of swords also is the planning of vacations, even though we have the sun here and I see people taking vacations, going to, you know, the beaches or uh, some other uh, sunny remote place where it's very nice and there could be boats, definitely water. Um, so this is still planning vacations or getaways, but it's also a need for you, uh, Capricorn to personally do something for yourself outside of your relationships. Okay. To rebuild, uh, your energy and to, you know, just to simply do something for yourself. Okay. And this is only temporary disconnection from others. Keep that in mind. Uh, the swords still represent conflict, but this is a minor card of conflicting energy so this is where i'm saying normally the card comes in for people to take a break from a situation it could be you know because it mirrors the six of pentacles somebody needs to take a break from their work because they're working too hard okay or you're due for an upcoming vacation four swords comes in and you're planning a future trip or a getaway all right so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female represents that four swords Capricorn next up is the queen of pentacles okay so we got the queen of pentacles here so this definitely would be an indication of an older possibly earth sign connecting with this also could represent a mother who gives birth to a child and she's a uh, capricorn but it also could be a um you know a female male because the queen could represent male or female energies where the um queen of pentacles is older and then she connects with he or she connects with someone younger when it comes to a romantic situation the queen mirrors that page of cups okay so but otherwise the queen is still part of the energy of um the generosity of the six of pentacles and it's more generosity uh favors being granted is a good period of time uh to ask any favors uh through the workplace environment because normally the answer would be yes this could also be an indication to a higher position this could be a promotion this could be uh some capricorns that i'm reading for who have this um you know this uh, ideal are trying to form, uh, you know, their own business, you know, get into their own uh, entrepreneurship. You have the success of the sun and then you have the ace of swords. That's a guarantee. That's a guarantor. Actually, the sun is the guarantor. OK, but the ace of swords is the victory and success in some type of endeavor and wanting to begin something new or adventurous or exciting. Uh, so it could be in connection with this queen of pentacles, part of your energy. 
All right. And then uh, during this two week period or not two week, it is for the entire month of July. It is a good time. You could, you know, apply for uh, credit loans or whatever. No, this would be your banker. OK. Or this would be your creditor. And normally the answer would be favorable. OK. We have the power. We have the courage of the strength card. OK. Um. This is looking pretty good. I like this reading for you, uh, Capricorn. I really do. All right. So your energy and again, the energy of the other earth signs, uh, Taurus and Virgo. Queen of Pentacles. Feeling st and again, this Queen of Pentacles is just like that Six of Pentacles, but even stronger because it's even more groundedness, more security, more stability. Now, this could be just the expression of the energy of this card or it's because it is a court card. It could be where you are and, you know, how you feel uh, at the moment. OK, you're feeling secure, grounded, and in, it's in relationship to relationships because it mirrors the cups, page of cups. All right. So the last card that I have for you is, OK, the king of wands. So the king of wands is here following the king or queen. Following the queen. A pinnacle. So that is, uh, again, another relationship that could be uh, older, same age, Capricorn with a, a same age fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. The King of Wands is the energy of being focused, sexual expression, sexual energy. Uh, he's going after what he's focused on. OK, so that could be a, re a relationship. This also could represent a father. It also could represent a mother. But this, uh, and actually, you know what? I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's another person right here with the king. I just happened to catch that. Wow. Okay, so the king is here, and then there's another person. So that could be what he's focused on, which is another person, and that would entail a relationship of some type. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. All right, so uh, Capricorn, this is a very good energy for you for this uh, time period. And I understand I'm not an astrologer that we're going through eclipses and uh, Mercury retrogrades and shit like that. So, but, it, you know, these are generalized readings. And I always tell you guys just to take out of these readings what applies to your situation and leave the rest alone. All right. So from the uh, wisdom of Golden Path Oracle deck, and I'm going to read the messages um, straight out of the book. And what the hell did I do with the book? Oh. And they could be rather lengthy, so um, bear with me, and I appreciate your patience. And I don't really care about um, the length of how long it takes me to read the message for you, because this is my last video for you for an entire month. So um, if you can stand it, then, you know, the more the better. Okay, so let's just select a card here. I wanted to get away from using the Magical Times Empowerment uh, deck. Uh, so we have change. Okay, so this is the card of change in this deck. And so let's see what uh, change says. Okay, so the lady pictured on this card looks threatening, but in actual fact, she is not. She holds a dagger in her hand, is ready to serve, sever her emotional ties with an outmoded way of thinking or pattern that no longer serves her. Freeing herself from these negative ties clears the way for a positive new beginning. The same goes for you. You must let go of the old thought patterns and beliefs that are preventing you from experiencing greater joy and success. What you gain will be a more prosperous, uh, excuse me, what you gain will be a more prosperous and inspiring future. Changing your thought patterns and behavior is not easy and will take patience and conscious uh, effort, but it will be well worth your while. Be aware and open to new possibilities. Let go and trust in the natural cycle of change that is occurring. What you surrender will be replaced by something far better. You may feel a little unsettled over the coming days, but this will soon pass and all moves forward with ease. This card is a blessing. This change has the power to transform you. 
Embrace this most positive time with the knowing that you are making way for something new. Okay, and that actually goes in with your uh, your general reading, Capricorn, if you uh, if you notice, because the start of something new is the Ace of Swords. The sun is here and then you have the strength to start something new. Okay, it's your energy, the Queen of Pentacles. The Page of Cups is the start of something new. So, yes, this is a very positive reading for you, Capricorn, and I'm happy to have um, been able to uh, give this or share this information with you. OK, use it to um, for whatever you need to use it for. And then, you know, if it doesn't fit, don't try to force it. <laughs> Please enjoy the uh, f end of, yeah, Independence Fourth of July safely. Enjoy the summer for those who are uh, in the summer areas or geographical summer areas and also um stay safe always emphasizing that safety and i'm sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way uh capricorn until i talk to you again i will see you on the other side of august take care bye <laughs>